Thank you for joining this video, how to install OpenStack using Conjure Up. This will show you how to install a full OpenStack cloud comprising of around 15 or so services running in containers on a single machine. My name is Mark Baker. I work for Canonical, the company behind Ubuntu in the product strategy team working specifically on OpenStack. Before we get going, let's run through some of the prerequisites you need to be able to install OpenStack on a single machine. First of all, you will need a machine that has 16 gigabytes of memory because we are running a full OpenStack cloud. Um, ideally, you should have a fairly quick processor. I'll be using an Intel Core i7, but something that's reasonably fast, reasonably modern should uh, help speed up the process. And likewise, an SSD. So if you've got SSD disk, then it'll um, uh, improve the install experience for you. Now you can run it on a, a traditional spinning disk, but it just will take a little longer. You're going to need Ubuntu 16.04. So if you haven't got that already, you need to go and get that. Get it from ubuntu.com and if you um, go to ubuntu.com slash download, you can do it on the desktop or Ubuntu server. I will be using the desktop so that it's all contained within a single machine. That's what I have. But if you want to do it on the Ubuntu server, you're welcome to do so. I am doing this on a laptop as I've said, but likewise you could equally do it in a VM on VMware providing it meets the prerequisites of having 16 gig of RAM and a reasonably quick processor or access to reasonably quick processing. Once you've got that environment set up and ready to run, um, please do apply all of the updates, so sudo apt update, sudo apt upgrade, to make sure that you've got all the latest packages available and your system's fully up to date. And then we will get start installing Conjure Up, the tool that we'll use to deploy OpenStack. Now Conjure Up, you can actually get details of that from conjure-up.io. I've got that here on the screen, so you can see it, conjure-up.io. And it's a very simple tool that you can use to deploy distributed or complex software applications, big software as we sometimes refer to them as, on a single machine, really using some fairly sophisticated tools under the hood, but doing so in a very simple way for you. Conjure Up is actually installed as a Snap. A Snap is a contained application that comes with all of the dependencies and pieces that you need to be able to run it. So um, Conjure Up is, whilst it does use a lot of different pieces under the hood, it won't interfere with anything on your existing machine uh, if you have um, services installed that have Python dependencies or any of the other pieces that go with it. So let's go ahead and, and run this command. So I'm just going to copy and paste this into a terminal window. I'll go ahead and copy that paste, sudo snap install conjure-up, dash dash classic, it just uh, specifies the interface. So it's going to download the conjure-up snap. So it's a fully contained application with all the dependencies that it requires. I'm going to download that, it's doing it on my connection reasonably fast. And then we'll go ahead, install Conjure Up, set things up ready for us to be able to deploy OpenStack in containers on a single machine. Okay, that looks like it's installed. So we will go ahead and run the Conjure-Up command. And this will take us into a graphical user interface. Of course, it's presented in a terminal, so it's a text-based uh, GUI. You'll see that we have two options for OpenStack. OpenStack with Nova KVM, which will build us an OpenStack environment with Nova that uses KVM as a hypervisor to be able to launch virtual machines. And also OpenStack with Nova LexD. Now, LexD is a container hypervisor. And in this instance, we've integrated it fully with Nova, such that you can launch new machines in our Nova environment that are based on LexD containers uh, and behave in exactly the same way as you'd expect with a KVM hypervisor. The advantage to doing it with Nova LexD is that if you're resource constrained, it's a little more efficient. It's not starting up new versions of the kernel every time you're launching uh, a KVM instance. So I'm gonna use Nova LexD in this case. We're gonna hit return there. It's gonna ask me to configure a new cloud. So I want to run this on my local machine so I'll select local host there, and it's gonna ask me about the different services that I want to run. So here it's listing all of the different OpenStack services that we can install. Um, you'll see that straight away that we are using Ceph for storage in this OpenStack environment. So even though it's gonna build it all on a single machine, it's gonna be using Ceph as backend storage uh, for block and object storage. Then it's of course a number of the other uh, core OpenStack services you would expect. Neutron, Keystone, uh, and of course, the cloud controller services, underlying infrastructure and MySQL, 
and Rabbit. So all of these pieces, I'm going to take the easy option here and hit tab and, and, and select deploy all 15 remaining applications. So deploy all of the OpenStack services and off we go. Now this is going to take a few minutes. It's going to initialize uh, some of the agents that are required underneath to be able to start setting up and configuring the containers that we will use uh, to deploy OpenStack in. So this will take a few seconds. We'll just let that run through. In terms of time, this will take somewhere, the entire install process is going to take somewhere between 30 minutes and 90 minutes, really depending on the speed of your machine. So the longest piece is, of course, deploying and configuring the OpenStack services themselves. But we'll see on the screen now how we're starting to set up the containers for the storage. Of course, we need three of the Ceph um, OSDs, three of the, of the monitors for those. And then the OpenStack services themselves. So the first coming in here is going to be Glance, and then we'll go on to the other services such as uh, Keystone, as we see there, Nova, the Nova Cloud Controller, Horizon, and the others, Neutron there coming in too. Now this is going to take a little while. We will see the state changing. So each one of these services that we see listed, and in fact if I scroll out just a little on my um, terminal here, you'll see a, a few more of them. Um, this is going to take a while and uh, we will see the state changing. So a lot of things going on under the hood right now as we're setting as um, Conjure Up is setting up the containers configuring the services within those containers. And because of the, the these things need to be done at different, different stages, we will see um, each of these services, and we've got one there, for example, changing so uh, in state. And they will continue to change state uh, between maintenance, um, waiting, they may say blocks, uh, and finally we'll say ready. So the installation has got now as far as being able to import the glass images, all the containers are set up, all the services are in place. So we're going to hit return. We want to import some images to be able to run some machines in our OpenStack environment. That will kick off in the background. Likewise, we want some SSH key pair, so we'll kick that off in the background as well. So it's finished importing the glass images. Now let's import our SSH keys. Now we want to be able to configure Neutron networking to be able to set up a network so that our instances can communicate with the outside world. We'll hit return there. We'll wait for that to complete. So we hit return there. We'll see a summary of the actions that we've completed. We've imported two images, uh, Ubuntu 14.04 and Ubuntu 16.04 images available to use with our cloud that we have built. Uh, we've set up SSH, we've configured networking, and we're able to access the Horizon dashboard. Now, if we go ahead and take a look at that, I'm actually going to type it in manually. So it's 10.37.82. Uh, 10.37.82. Uh, I think it was 109. 101. Slash horizon. Now, take a little uh, second or two just to um, make the connections. Whilst it has set up horizon, it has configured it, it's just making those connections in the background for us to be able to access. We are at the Horizon login screen, so we use our default username of admin, the default password of OpenStack. Of course, you can change these uh, if required. For the testing purposes, we'll leave them as they are for now, and we'll access our Horizon dashboard. Here we see we've got a couple of projects. Uh, they're already running. If we're going to take a look at our OpenStack environment, You'll see we won't have any instances running yet. Get rid of this. Get rid of that. No instances running yet, but we should have some images available for us to be able to launch. If we want to be able to launch some images in the environment, we should see uh, a network here. We've got a couple of networks, so the internal network, the management network. And uh, we'll see our LexD hypervisor, say it's our container hypervisor that will let us be able to launch virtual machines, container machines, LexD container machines in our OpenStack environment. If we quit out of our environment here, let me just clear up the screen. Um, so if we want to see what's running on our system, we'll use this uh, command uh, LXE this list. Uh, and that'll show us all of the containers that we have running 
Uh, and so there's about 15 of these on our system now, thereabouts. Each of them is running an OpenStack service. We're going to pick one at random, so it doesn't really matter which one. I can do LXC exec. This is quite similar to Docker run, but if you're familiar with that, LXC exec, uh, we'll give it the container name. Looks like there's a space in there, so I'll just put that up, give it the same thing, and I can run bash, so I can get bash. And you'll see I'm now inside that container. If I, um, won't be much to see in there, but uh, if we go and take a look at the processes, we'll probably be able to work out what it's running. So uh, this one I can see is running Keystone, lots of Keystone processes here. So this is our Keystone service. So running inside a container, we can see it's configured with an HA proxy here as well. So all up and running. I haven't had to go and read the large amounts of OpenStack documentation. It gives me uh, a very fast way to be able to get up and running with an OpenStack system on my laptop, on my single machine, on my single VM that I have access to nice and easily. We hope you have fun using Conjure Up and uh, using OpenStack, and uh, we look forward to seeing you on the next video.